Since the end of last week, Trump has tweeted 11 attacks against the Mueller probe and the news media, while his personal attorney Rudy Giuliani has given a flurry of interviews to outlets such as CNN and Fox News defending Trump. But underlying all these stories is another pressing concern for Trump which he once labeled a red line for any investigations, his finances. Since the election, the president's critics have pushed on a number of fronts to get more information on the real estate mogul's closely held business, including his dealings with Russians and people seeking to influence the administration. Now there are signs that the veil he's long held over everything from his net worth to his business associates may be pierced. As this is going on, the Manafort case is making clear how damaging the release of this kind of information can be. Prosecutors have already revealed that Manafort made more than $60 million as a political consultant in Ukraine and said they will use evidence including memoranda, emails, and photos reflecting tasks performed to show the full sweep of Manafort's Ukraine work. All of this is likely troubling for a president who has long been secretive about the exact details of his finances. Trump broke a 40-year tradition among presidential candidates by refusing to release his tax returns in the 2016 election. And in the past, he's been so defensive about his net worth that the suit a reporter and publisher in 2005 who claimed he was worth less than he stated, arguing in a court deposition that his net worth was based president and his associates. And CNN also reports that Cohen is willing to share that knowledge with Mueller. Cohen may be hoping that cooperating with Mueller will help him lessen his own legal troubles. If that's the case, he likely knows much more about Trump's business dealings and finances beyond the McDougal payoff. If Weisselberg testifies before a grand jury, he'll be an extensive source of information, says Mariotti because prosecutors can ask him anything they want, and he's the CFO, so I'm sure he knows everything there is to know. The transcript will never be made public. But as prosecutors pore over his testimony and review the documents and records they are sure to have subpoenaed from the Trump Organization, if they discover any crimes related to Trump or his company, they could refer those to other prosecutors to investigate. Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort's first trial begins Tuesday, and while it doesn't have anything to do with Trump's own dealings, 
it lays bare a worst-case scenario for when shady finances are brought to light. Manafort's Virginia trial, he faces another in the District of Columbia set to begin this fall, focuses on money Manafort made while working as a consultant in Ukraine. The indictment charges him with hiding millions in overseas income through offshore accounts, bank fraud, and tax evasion. The fact that Manafort's Virginia trial, the first trial to come from charges brought by Mueller's investigation, is centered on financial crimes is sure to cast any of Trump's own worries about keeping his finances private into sharper relief.